How's it going, people? Doing great. I, I've been on vacation all week, and I've uh, visited family in Arizona. And this is the third hotel I've stayed in. And um, I yesterday I saw Montezuma's Castle, and today I was at the Grand Canyon. I'm in the glorious town of uh, Tucson. Arizona, at the south entrance of the Grand Canyon. That's a letter from the mayor apologizing for their crappy Wi-Fi. Anyway, I've been having a great time, and I don't really mind. And I just haven't checked in with my peeps in a while. Um, when we were uh, leaving Sacramento, we stopped off um, somewhere along the way, and a nice lady gave me this. Just came up to my table and said, I really want you to have this. So I'm invited to listen to quality Bible teaching, Christian news and information. And there's like 50 radio networks all listed within. Maybe you want to enter some more stuff. Um, so if you want to, any of this information, you can freeze frame or, you know, send me a message and I'll give you whatever information you may want and it will even let you do all that you know Twitter, Facebook but anyway and within that there's a little card inviting you to church it's awfully sweet and there's a little letter on the inside and I'll share that with you you can have a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Realize God loves you. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yada, yada, yada. We know that one. All right. Um, realize everyone is a sinner. Romans 3.23 For all sin comes from the glory of God. Okay. Um, realize sin has a price that must be paid. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, da, 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 da. But luckily someone else put it on his tab. Um, um, pray and ask Jesus Christ to be your Savior. Romans 10.9, and I'm not going to bother with that. But anyway, they have um, a prayer of commitment. I love these sample prayers. Let's do this. Um, Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and I ask your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. Uh, I don't. Um, the guy who wrote this does. Um, I turn from running my own life, and now I ask you to run it. Let Jesus take the wheel. Uh, I invite you to come into my heart and life. I trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. But that's not all. Oh, and I have one of these. It's a blueberry beer. It's a wild blue. Oh, I got this at the gift shop in the Grand Canyon. It's a Grand Canyon bottle opener. Anyway, I do have videos of my Grand Canyon visit and my Montezuma's castle. I'm going to put them on my other channel, but I'll put links to them or whatever. So you can see, see them if you want. Uh, oh, and this is my um, glow in the dark uh, scorpion bracelet. Necklace, I mean, I got a bracelet for my niece. Um, anyway, um, I was um, hanging around the ledge of the Grand Canyon, and believe it or not, I found this. <laughs> a Bible track for a different religion. And um, I don't know how well you can see this. Eh, pretty good, actually. You can freeze frame that if you like. Ah, know thyself. Read Bhagavad Gita. 
because, you know, it's the Word of God. One of them. One of the gods or one of the words. Uh, the reader is nowhere raised into the sustained... Wait. The reader is nowhere raised into... Sustained in a bigger, purer, or rare region of thought than in the Bhagavad Gita. Thoreau. That's good enough for me. You know, I mean, that sounds like an authority figure there. So let's just believe what he says. All right. Um, the true victory of the Gita does not know what disappointment is. He ever dwells in the uh, perennial joy and peace that passeth understanding. And that's Gandhi, damn it. <coughs> Pardon me. This was right over the rail near the ledge of the Grand Canyon. Someone left us there, you know. Maybe some, in case someone's going to jump off, they'll find this and have a change of heart. I think anyone going to the edge of the Grand Canyon would be just so awe-inspired that they probably would just not do it. Anyway, um, as you read these words, the elements of your body are changing. Although your body is changing, you, the essential self, are not. Every time you say, my body, you confirm that you are different. What then are you? Changing bodies, changeless self. And anyway, that was at the ledge of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so, I mean, this the fun never ends, no matter where you go. Anyway... I I will uh, put links to those other videos because I put those on my channel that my non-vlog channel where I just go places and check out cool stuff. Yeah, but I don't talk about much. Um, anyway, let me know if this saved your soul. You might want to run out and get the Bhagavad Gita or that other book. So stay tuned. Let me know if this changed your life. Peace the fuck out never wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having and you should definitely check out the grand canyon put that on your bucket list damn it